tangled. So we're gonna use some zoom baits. These are worms for bass fishing. Look at the size of that shark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo. Another day of bridge fishing. We got Eli over here. The professional, but today we're hanging out with Captain Snook. Snooky Snook. Snook. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We got a lot of fish that we're catching today. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and have your notifications on. Because like I said, I'm gonna repeat myself again. You don't wanna miss any upcoming episodes because we got a lot of fire coming. Since we're on the bridge, I just want to give a shout out to the Florida Keys Bridge Fishing Reports. If you have a Facebook page, go give those guys a follow. That's Florida Keys Bridge Fishing Reports, and you can get some tips on how to better fish off the bridge. Uh, people will keep you updated on where the fish are actually biting down there. So it's just a nice community, and I'm glad I was able to join it. We don't, we don't come prepared like you, you know? We come to the bridge and we hope that you're here. So we can take all your stuff. <laughs> Thanks. There it is. What you got? What you got? It's a mutton. Right here in that shade line, right in that yeah. swirl. I mean, I'm talking about they're tagging them, bro. Oh. Let's go, Daddy. Oh. Whoa, that was a hit. You saw that? Yo, you saw that hit though? All right. I need to get a shirt for people on the bridge. Two inches too short. With a picture of a button. Yeah, right? Look at that. I think everyone's Yo, that hit was nasty. Oh! All right. Another little Jack for Bell. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I'm your host, Brian, the CEO, and thank you for clicking the link. I'm assuming that if you did click on the link that you are somebody who loves fishing and the outdoors. And if that's the case, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now because that's what we do here. This channel is me fishing and interacting with a lot of people. It's about sharing the experience of fishing and telling other people's stories. And today's no different. We ran into Captain Snook and Marky. And man, let me tell you what, their setup for the bridge fishing is perfect. They've got electric scooters with bridge carts on a train system. So I'm a little jealous of that. I, I definitely want to get myself into or onto one of those electric bikes with a, a bridge cart because walking these bridges is tiring. Today was more about just hanging out and having fun. I catch some saltwater fish, some snapper with zoom worms with the ribbon tail, literally bass fishing lures, and I'm catching saltwater fish, and then I hook onto the biggest blue fish of my life. And me doing this, no, I gotta lean way back and do like this because that's how big that damn fish was, and it took me for a ride. You can hear my drag screaming, and it was just a blast. What's up over here fishing with Captain Snook today? Cheers, cheers, cheers. What's up, top what's up? Secret. Top. top secret. Hey, listen, if you go to <laughs> Florida Keys Bridge Fishing Reports, this guy right here is an expert, it's Captain Snook. If you ever want to know any spots, just, just chime in, leave a comment below. Captain Snook will come in. He has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of spots, all right? So we're gonna use some zoom baits. These are worms for bass fishing. And I'm gonna see if I can get anything to hit here in the salt water. They're salted for salt water, right? I think that's what it means. Salted for salt water? Sounds good to me. Let me put this in my back pocket. And let's see, I got a little heavier weight so I can drift it back, but so it doesn't just float in the air from this wind. But I'm just gonna run it through like this. Not like a Texas rig or anything, but I'm just gonna hook it just like that. You guys can see it, it's not perfect, but I don't care, cause this is just a test for fun, you know? And I'm gonna whip this bad boy as far down as I can. 
and see if that tail gives it action because the current is actually ripping away from us right now. And uh, I'm actually being popped on right now. There was actually fish popping on it. No, there was fish smacking it on the worm. I want to get it back to that shadow line though. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough because everything wants to pop on the end of this and not get the hook. So I don't know if this is going to work because they don't eat the same way like a largemouth eats. But it's still fun to try. I think the next time I start feeling those nibbles, I'm just going to leave it there and let them kind of attack it from every direction. Create like a little feeding frenzy and maybe one will get the hook that way. Oh, on the freaking bass worm. Oh, I lost it. I lost it. No, I'm, I got a fish on a bass worm. Saltwater fishing. That's all that matters. The first hit was big. This guy, he spit it and this guy picked it up. Look at that. On the zoom baits, off the bridge. Remember guys, if you want to buy a Florida hat, I've got various colors with the Florida flag underneath or you want to buy some shirts like this Make Anglers Great Again shirt, you know, you can go to my website, ceofishing.com, or you can go directly to my Instagram, at BrianTheCEO, and hit the shop link right there. It supports my fishing addiction, and it helps me, you know, not have to come out of pocket too much to make these videos for you guys. Got another one. Something. Not what I want, but it's a fish. It's chasing, it's chasing, it's chasing. Look at the size of that shark. I'm trying to get that mutton snapper. So we get to this spot on the bridge and Eli sees this black hole. It looks like a black hole or something. And he's like, yo, what's that? And he cast to it immediately, boom, got smacked by something, right? Cut him off, cut him off. So I'm looking closer and I realize this black mass is moving in the water. Like it's just kind of shifting and I see just this circling and this flashing and all this action happening within this black mass. So it wasn't a hole, it wasn't a shadow, it was a giant bait ball and these massive jack balls and bluefish and, and various fish, like three, four foot barracudas, just kind of swirling around this massive ball of bait. So I decided to cast my shrimp into that dark mass, and this is what happened. Hey, uh, Eli, you bring me big shrimp? You bring me big, big shrimp? Oh, you see it, right? We're running. I think y'all just walked a couple pilings too far. Oh, 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 oh. They do, they do. Oh, I don't want that cooter though. No, there was some yellow jack behind it, dude. Oh, I'm going over here. You get stuck. If you go to the front, cast out, cast out. I'm out, I'm out there in that, the circle of them. Oh, man, they were out there. They're sinking, it's sinking down right on them. Bro, it's a giant school of them. Got it. Oh, shit. I'm under you. Oh, what do I have? Yeah, it was good. Your line's on mine. Everybody's on my line. Oh, no. Okay. Bro, it, it is, it is, it is. I got it. Straight down. I need a bridge net no matter what. What do I got? Better not be that Cuda. Woo! Oh. No, that's a, that's a blue fish. That's a blue fish. Okay, I got a blue. 
Get away from her, you stupid cooter. Come on, Morris. Get him up. Where's the line? Where's the line? You're right in front of me. Okay, I see you. All right. Don't worry. As long as you bring them to the wall, I'll, I'll get you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. Drop, I pull. Oh. My whole line snapped. That was the biggest bluefish I've ever hooked in my life. Oh my God, Eli, it just popped off. Whoa, man, I was so disappointed. I, I really, I literally, for the next 20, 30 minutes, I got really quiet because I don't know if it was my fault that that fish came off or it was just because it had sharp teeth. I didn't realize how sharp their teeth were. Bluefish have some razor sharp teeth and I had no clue. And on that setup, I'm only I was only using 25 pound fluorocarbon as a leader. So I've been I had been fighting it for a couple minutes and as I was trying to pull it to the bridge net, it literally popped just like that. So Yeah, I'm a little bit in my field still right now, but you know what? The fight was amazing and I hope that I have another chance to try and catch one again soon because that was the biggest bluefish that I have ever seen in my whole entire life. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Today was just a fun hanging out with buddies, hanging out with friends and new people type of vibe, but I hope you still enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your notifications on because this is what I do. I put up multiple videos every week and I don't want you guys to miss any of them, you know? So, so with that being said, guys, I'll see you next time. But until then, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz. No. I, I filmed your license plate no, because no. I thought it was going to be an amazing video where you put me on a ton of fish, man. Bobo, look at this, bro. It's just about. Oh, you got shrimp. Is that the secret method right there? No, it's the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret. This is how you catch mutton snapper in the keys, guys. Hey, a whole bottle of shrimp.